Hello dear friends and welcome to my quick pop-up video on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy it as well as maybe gather a little inspiration for a project of your own. So let's get started. I'll be showing you what I did to a plain terracotta pot purchased from Walmart with just a few supplies and turned it into a rustic moss covered beauty for my front porch. When I purchased this terracotta pot, I did so with the express intention of planting a Eugenia topiary in it, which Walmart also had for just $14.88. Can you believe it? I was shocked. And you guys all know how much I love my topiaries, be they live or faux. And a girl can always use one more topiary, right? But you guys all know how I am. I never leave well enough alone and I just had to make over that plain terracotta pot to fit into my French country cottage style garden. And so here's what I did. I took this IOD meadow hair bunny mold that I used with the IOD air dry clay to make this bunny that you're seeing there on the right. Then I glued it to the pot with some Gorilla Super Glue because I didn't have any type on glue on hand here at the house and it worked fine. Another embellishment that I wanted to add to the top of the pot was this Paris stencil that I've had for years. What I did was I mixed a tablespoon of ready mix concrete patch with some white paint about to the consistency of toothpaste, and then I stenciled the word Paris on to give it a raised and textured effect. I also whitewashed the entire pot with some diluted white paint, and then I took some of my concrete patch and the white paint mixture that I used on the stencil and dabbed it around the bunny for more dimension and texture. So now let's take a look at how I transformed it into a mossy, aged-looking garden pot. I used the Ready Mix Concrete Patch with some of the green forest moss paint to the consistency of about toothpaste and then started dab dabbing it on heavily with a stencil brush to get the heavily moss-covered look that I was going for. Then while it was wet, I misted the green moss with my water bottle so the green would run and feather out a bit to look like rain had washed through it and created drip marks. After that, I lightly dabbed the burnt ember paint with my stencil brush in strategic places to mimic dirt and lightly misted it also. And you can see how using the green and ember paints together created such depth and texture. All right, my friends, that's how I created this French bunny pot. I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I did and maybe got inspired to try one of your own. Thanks so much for spending time with me. I'll be back this week with lots to share, so stay tuned, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, my lovelies.